<laughs> Katie laughs at everything. <laughs> kind of whether it's funny or not. <laughs> In terms of her climbing, she's an incredible climber, like one of the most natural climbers I think I've ever seen. Well, we originally saw a video of Paige Classen climbing here, and we were like, oh my god, that looks amazing. Let's go. It's pretty cool. Looks traddy. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like these massive red um, quartzite walls. I got pumped in the 6A plus. <laughs> you got expectations for this trip? Um, no, not really. <laughs> I've not climbed for four months. Why? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Yeah, so I hurt my back a year ago. Um, and I kind of thought that I'd do this rehab and arrive here and my and I'd be my injury'd be better, but I'd just be really unfit. That's not been the case. <laughs> I'm still trying to suss out my abilities. I'm just her back's like really tight and gone into a bit of spasm and she's in quite a bit of pain. So it's good pain. <laughs> I don't want to drag Mina down. <laughs> I guess we normally would be trying similar things. Not so much this trip. Unless she lowers her grade for me. because I'm injured, I'm not doing exactly what I want to be doing. It's frustrating, but if you put it in, in perspective, it's not really a big deal. Going on with what's the aim of the day? Today I'm gonna go and have a look at Snapdragon. Today? Chose Snapdragon after I saw Mina climbing it. I'll be later when she flashed it. It's like this amazing vertical wall with a bit of a a kind of flake line going up it. And then it and then you get a rest halfway and then it kicks out into some a steeper wall. I guess first time I went up, I thought I'd do it quite quick. And then I actually started red pointing it and thought that I wouldn't do it. More powerful than I thought, and more pumpy than I thought. How's it feeling, Wet? Oh no, my foot's in the wrong place. Take. I didn't think I was going to do it today. Maybe next time. Next session I'll do it. My back is like one big knot. I'm asleep. I am a little bit disappointed with how I'm climbing. I thought I was going to, I mean I've done a few days back at home, sport climbing, which went okay. That's what they used to go, remember when they sleep around? Oh, that was nice. Them nice. But, <laughs> it's not going very well here. <laughs> Thank you.
I felt pretty tired earlier. I was so floppy. <laughs> um, and then I was like, just had a quick go on Snapdragon. I thought I'd have a warm up go. But I got way further than I thought. <laughs> I got really pumped. I was basically just rolling, rolling around on my shoulders because my arms felt really tired. <laughs> but it was good. I was falling off a move that I didn't actually think that would stop me. It was a bit of a dynamic move from a good hold to like a little crimp and then you roll over to a jug. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but you just needed to have a bit of power to get this crimp and every time I got there I'd just totally run out. I guess it's just accepting that I'm um, red pointing routes that I'd normally be on sighting or at least attempt attempting to on site. Uh, What's your plan for this afternoon? Then? I'm gonna go and do Snapdragon now. <laughs> recording now. Yeah. I guess it's kind of a route of two halves with a big rest in the middle. And I thought I was going to fall off the crooksy red point bit at the top. got the top hold just before I clipped the chains and then a massive um, crack of thunder like sounded around the valley and then there was lightning on top so I was just like oh my god. <laughs> Didn't really have a chance to uh, soak it in I was just like clip let's strip this route. <laughs> And I thought that I'd do it in a couple of sessions. It, I guess it did turn into a bit of a battle. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was going to do it before we left. And it felt, when I was trying it in like sections, it felt so hard. 